This lecture will be solving the problem in conflict serializability. In concurrency control, serial schedules have less resource utilization and low throughput. To improve it, two or more transactions are run concurrently. But concurrency of transactions may lead to inconsistency in database. To avoid this, we need to check whether these concurrent schedules are serializable or not. Given Schedule S in the slide, check whether it is as conflict serializable or not. The first step that we need to do is to list all the conflicting operations and determine the dependency between the transactions. From the Schedule S we can see there are three conflicting operations. The first operation is read item A for transaction 2, and write item A for transaction 1. The second operation is read item B for transaction 1, and write item B for transaction 2. The last operation is read item B for transaction 3, and write item B for transaction 2. In second steps, we need to draw the precedence graph. There are three transactions involved in in schedule, S. Transaction 1, Transaction 2, and Transaction 3. In the first operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 2 and Transaction 1. In the second operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 1 and Transaction 2. In the third operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 3 and Transaction 2. In the precedence graph, it is clearly shows that there exists a cycle. Therefore, the given Schedule S is not conflict serializable. In second question, check whether the given schedule, S, is conflict serializable and recoverable or not. The first step that we need to do is to list all the conflicting operations and determine the dependency between the transactions. There are six conflicting operations existed in the schedule, S. The first operation is read item X for transaction 2 and write item X for transaction 3. The second operation is read item X for transaction 2, and write item X for transaction 1. The third operation is write item X for transaction 3, and write item X for transaction 1. The fourth operation is write item X for transaction 3, and write item X for transaction 4. The fifth operation is write item X for transaction 1, and write item X for transaction 4. The sixth operation is write item Y for transaction 2, and write item Y for transaction 4. In second steps, we need to draw the precedence graph. There are four transactions involved in in schedule, S. Transaction 1, Transaction 2, Transaction 3, and Transaction 4. In the first operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 2 and Transaction 3. In the second operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 2 and Transaction 1. In the third operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 3 and Transaction 1. In the fourth operation, we need to create an edge between Transaction 3 and Transaction 4. In the fifth operation, we need to create an edge between transaction 1 and transaction 4. In the 6th operation, we need to create an edge between transaction 2 and transaction 4. In the precedence graph, it is clearly shows that there exists no cycle in the precedence graph. Therefore, the given Schedule S is conflict serializable. There exists no dirty root operation. This is because all the transactions which update the values commits immediately. Therefore, the given Schedule S is recoverable. Also, S is a cascadeless schedule.